In today's video, we are going to be doing a Fortnite live event tier list. Now, Fortnite is known for having amazing live events, so I'm assuming a lot of these are going to be in the S plus or the S tier. If you like this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Use code TuneSpider in the Fortnite item shop to support me. Check out my other Fortnite tier list videos, and let's get to ranking. All right, so we are starting with the rocket launch event from season four. This has to be a. For those of you that don't remember or didn't play then so you don't know, it was a pretty simple event. Pretty much the visitor came to the island in season four. He built this rocket throughout the season and it zipped around throughout the map once it was launched and it ended up creating the sideways rift and then he disappeared and this, this actually created the rifts on the map in season five up next is the cube butterfly event now throughout season five there was a kevin the cube who moved around the map which actually created the first floating island into season six which then triggered the butterfly event at the end of season six this event was actually really sick and i have never seen anything like this up until that point in any video game i remember we ended up in the in between this rift formed into a butterfly and floated towards us and like kind of chilled on the finger of the character it was so cool it was pretty mind-blowing at the time so i'm going to be putting that in s the chapter one season seven event was the ice storm basically the ice king projected himself and caused a huge storm and covered snow all over the map it wasn't it was pretty simple it wasn't that cool to be honest it was kind of a letdown compared to the other events we just had and it was a bummer because see, chapter one season seven is like my all-time favorite season but i gotta put it where it belongs and that's d tier but what also happened that season was the first Fortnite concert. Marshmallow actually had like a 10 to 15 minute live concert. Again, I've never seen anything like this. I know it broke a bunch of viewership records and it's crazy to think that it's not even the best one, but it's going to be going in S tier because it was incredible. It was a lot of fun. This next event, the unvaulting event is going in the S plus tier. If you do not remember the vault opened up at Loop Lake, at the end of season eight, we all kind of got sucked into it and we were allowed to vote in the vault which weapon we wanted to return. And of course, at the time, the drum gun came back. It was like one of the most broken items at that time. But what was really cool is after we left the vault, we actually triggered the volcano and it erupted. But after it erupted, it completely destroyed Retail Row. It completely destroyed Tilted Towers and it partially destroyed Polar Peak. And that actually led to the season nine event, which is actually my favorite event of all time the final showdown, the mech versus the monster. The monster was actually hiding under Polar Peak that whole time. The volcanic eruption actually revealed the eye because it broke some of the snow and some of the ice. And then eventually towards the end of the season, the monster broke free, the mech, which was controlled by Singularity. We spent all of season nine building that mech and they had a huge face off and they had the iconic sword that was pulled out of Neo Tilted and stabbed through the monster's head. And I was freaking out the whole time. I love seeing the battle live instead of it being like a cutscene. And we had jetpacks, so we got like an aerial view of the whole fight, which was so sick. So the next event is also going into the S Plus because of how big of an impact it had on Fortnite, which was the end event of chapter one. It's going in S Plus. It created the black hole. We actually didn't gonna play Fortnite for a few days, but it also led us to chapter two and a whole new map and a whole new beginning. The rocket actually made an appearance for the second time and this is when we started learning more about the seven because the scientists actually built more rockets and it shot all over the map but the last rift appeared at the top of loot lake where the zero point was and i remember it shot down and completely destroyed the zero point which sent us into that black hole uh chapter two season one might have been one of the most like boring seasons of all time and it makes sense because honestly the star wars event was pretty boring as well it was cool that we got lightsabers out of it, but basically it was just a teaser for, I think, the Rise of Skywalker. All that really happened was they showed, like, a 30-second teaser, if I remember right, of Rise of Skywalker at Risky Reels, which that part was pretty cool. But all in all, it was pretty, it was a letdown. Now, another S-plus was the Travis Scott concert. That was the best concert Fortnite has had. It was absolutely insane and i don't know if we'll have a concert that ever beats that one up next is the device the device is going to be going in s i thought the whole midas storyline was really cool in chapter two season two honestly all of chapter two had a really good storyline basically midas at the agency had this doomsday device uh he wanted to destroy the island the device had this energy that beamed up and it like pushed back the storm 
which was actually really cool because it built up like a bunch of water and stuff on the side. Uh, you could see like sharks swimming around and stuff, which led to chapter two, season three and, and the map flooding. But the coolest part about that event was the cutscene to John Jones and like actually hearing Jonesy's voice um, on that desk in that scene too were three folders for Lynx, Midas, and Jules. No idea what they were. They were top secret. But eventually we were able to get the device back underground uh, below the agency. Up next is the Galactus event. And again, that is S+. Throughout all of Chapter 2 Season 4 Galactus, the Devourer of Worlds was slowly making his way towards us. And we helped the Marvel characters that we got in the battle pass that season, like Iron Man, Thor, Mystique, um, all of them kind of build together this plan to destroy Galactus and save the island. We were driving around battle buses, shooting Galactus, and then eventually he ate one of the battle buses that Tony Stark built and it destroyed him. And it was super cool. And it was such a cool event. It was so insane. It has to be S+. Up next is the Zero Point Crisis Finale. And this was sick because this is how we started Chapter 2 Season 6. And we helped Jones get to the Zero Point. The Foundation comes in, which was really sick to finally see him. And I remember throughout the event that reality was changing. We were changing into the different Battle Pass skins as we were running with John Jones towards the zero point eventually though they had to overload the device and the foundation sealed himself and that actually sent jonesy back through the loop so this event is going in s the ariana grande event was also really cool i'm actually going to be putting it in s it's crazy to see how many s pluses and s's there are it was an awesome event i don't think it was on the travis scott level but it was really cool. Skyfire. Skyfire was sick. We had to destroy the mothership, which floated over the island. When we got beamed up, we had to like complete all these tasks and basically put a bunch of bombs. And it was still the coolest thing to be dropping out of that mothership and watch it blow up. It was so sick. This one is gonna be going in A. Now, the chapter two finale, we had to defeat the Cube Queen. And I remember this is when it was revealed that The Rock was the foundation. It was super sick. Basically, the foundation helped break Jonesy out, and then they fight their way to escape the IO, and it was super sick. And then the event ended with the island completely flipping over, which revealed our chapter three map. This event is going in S+. Plus. I absolutely love this one. Collision is also one of my favorites. We actually started in space uh, in a mech with Paradigm, and we actually controlled it with her. I remember we were about to win, but we were starting to take a lot of damage from all of the IO tanks. But then Peely swoops in out of nowhere with the slurp truck, and we were able to heal up with it. We went to destroy the collider with a blade, and it didn't work because we actually there was actually a huge explosion that like sent us all back. Um, we went underground and I remember when we ended up underground, we were ejected from the mech besides Paradigm. I remember there was a Darth Vader teaser at some point, but eventually Paradigm was able to get the mech back up and running. She squashed Sloane and her tank as we were fighting other tanks and other IO guards trying to get out of the underground. Eventually she was able to lift us back up and then Jones and Foundation went into the zero point to end this once and for all. Up next is the Fracture event. I'm gonna be putting this in C. Now it wasn't bad, it was just kind of boring. So here's the thing, is the Herald in the event, she eventually like went full chrome and was like 20 feet tall and covered the whole map in chrome and it essentially destroyed it. We got shot out, we we're kind of just floating in space on this one little island and it looked like we were kind of like trying to put together the zero point or like or put energy back into the zero point so we we're completing all these tasks it just took way too long it was really slow it was pretty boring but the ending was sick because you could see the zero point grabbing together all these island pieces from different realities and putting them together which formed our chapter four map up next is the big bang event this is going in a i know it's kind of like a marketing event in a way showing off the lego mode rocket racing the festival but eminem was in it his part was a little short but it was still sick but seeing the Lego mode and the rocket racing was incredible. Redoing the end event from chapter one was really cool to like get that nostalgic feeling. Overall, I had a lot of fun with that event. I had a good time. It will be an A. And then up next, I actually put this for fun. I know it wasn't like a live event. It kind of was because Fortnite tweeted out when it would be arriving. But the Titan hand that we just had before chapter five, season two, I'm putting that in B. It was really short. It wasn't crazy or anything, but it was really cool to see this Titan hand appear and kind of have this mini event again, because in reality, since the beginning of like chapter four, we have hardly had any events compared to what we used to have 
in like chapter one, chapter two, and even chapter three. But this is my Fortnite live event tier list. Be sure to let me know your favorite live events in the comments. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope we get more live events. I think a Greek mythology event could be really sick at the end of this season. But if you like the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Use my code Spider, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace.